Hi, my name is Mark Wolbright and I'm the inventor of the Smart Slope system. And what I'd like to talk about today is I'd like to talk about value proposition versus market niche or market segment. Now, there's a whole bunch of different market segments in the retaining wall business. I'd start off with a cast in place, poured in place wall, you know. And my numbers aren't going to be exact, but they're going to be pretty close based on my experience. Uh, at, the, at the labor rates that uh, are involved in pouring uh, a cast in place concrete wall, it's going to be somewhere between $45 and $60 per square foot of wall face. And what you're getting there is you're getting something that uh, could solve a very difficult need uh, in a very tight place and more than likely it's going to be 100 percent vertical and it's going to be custom designed uh, it's going to have a very wide reinforced base or that you don't see underneath it uh, and so it's it's at probably the highest price point and it's servicing the most demanding hard to fit need uh, underneath that you're going to have panel walls uh, those puzzle piece walls you see along the highway like that they come in a variety of shapes and uh, those things are going to be installed uh, at the highway rate. Um, I'm going to say probably between $30 and, and $45 a square foot, depending on the height and the quality of the backfill. And once again, you're paying that kind of a rate to have that type of precision straight up and down coming off of a bridge abut. Now, you shift down a bit, and you've got uh, these big wet poured blocks things like Ready Rock, uh, things like Stone Strong, and their claim to fame is that, uh, you know, they're very big, they've got a wide footprint, they're very solid and massive, and uh, they're capable of building walls, you know, maybe 10 to 12 feet tall without having to reinforce them. And that is a big calling card if you've got utilities directly behind or a property line directly behind, and their price point is going to be probably, you know, 12 to $15 a square foot just for the material, and then the build is going to take it up to about $30 a square foot. So just slightly under price point for the panel walls. And uh, they've got some additional functionality there. So that's their value point. Then you come down to uh, small block modular walls like Keystone and Versalock. And those, uh, those kind of, eh, they get a little more difficult to read because you've got your your straight face simple gray block that are one square foot and these days they they make them hollow core so they're very uh, inexpensive not much concrete in them uh, they've got some durability issues for sure uh, and uh, departments of transportation don't tend to use them very much but they get a lot of action in the commercial and the residential world uh, they're capable of building walls you know 50 60 feet tall just fine uh, if they're designed by an engineer and they're reinforced with the proper geogrid reinforcement and the right backfills. Um, but their, uh, their value point is going to be, they're going to be installed in the, I, I want to say, like $14 to $20 a square foot range. And that's a big range, but it depends on the height that you're working at and the quality of the backfill and the loads on top, slopes at the toe. A lot of things, you know, combine to drive the price up and drive the complexity of the design up. Um, now, what they've done to differentiate a bit is, uh, you know, there's so much of that out there, and people want something that looks different and looks more beautiful or high-end. So they've taken those same blocks, and they've made them in different sizes. And so you get a pallet of them that are, you know, a big one, a medium one, a little one, and they're a multi-piece repeating pattern, like an ashlar pattern. And so the builder has to, you know, put, you know, piece A next to piece B with PC on top, and they repeat that pattern over and over on the wall, and that sort of breaks up the monotony of the look of the wall. Uh, the companies that manufacture these have also innovated in terms of they, they blend col swirled colors into them, and then they tumble them and beat them up and give them an old, old world look. Uh, you know, that combines to make a more expensive material, and that material is going to sell in the $12 to $15 a square foot range. Uh, the trouble with that is it's not as buildable as the simple version of it, you know, that was just one block and you just repeated that one block over and over again. Now, this is a little bit more difficult to get the repeating pattern right at the right elevation so that you can connect geogrid reinforcement. And so the price point for the build goes up. Uh, so now you're looking at a system that's going to be anywhere from 30 to $40 a square foot installed. Uh, once again, its value point is that it's a, it's a higher end look uh, you know, and they are beautiful. Now, where does Smart Slope fit in there? You know, where's its value point? Well, you know, we're sort of a high-end look as well. 
And I would venture to say, uh, and a lot of people agree with me, that a living wall, a vegetated retaining wall, such as my smart slope here, looks every bit as good when it's grown over as any type of a tumbled, multi-piece, ashlar, color-blended um, modular block system. And this is going to be, you know, seven to eight dollars, nine dollars a square foot delivered to the job, uh, you know, with our geogrid reinforcement, or I shouldn't say geogrid, but with our pair web uh, strip reinforcement and mechanical attachment. Uh, certainly it's going to be less than ten dollars a square foot uh, the entire material package delivered to the job we're not going to require special backfills or, or, or anything special at all and it's one same block that gets repeated over and over course after course after course and so it's a very efficient building system so it's going to end up pricing out for material maybe eight to ten dollars a square foot but then it's going to end up being built on the job somewhere between uh, Let's see. It's going to end up being built on the job somewhere between, uh, you know, maybe 18 and 25 dollars a square foot, and so that's not as high a price point as some of the tumbled, multi-piece, small block systems, and it's certainly a lower price point than some of the large wet pour blocks. But this has the material properties of wet pour concrete and its durability, and it, and it uh, will be favored by departments of transportation as opposed to uh, the dry cast of traditional modular blocks. Uh, so it makes this sort of a niche exploiter. Uh, it's got a great price point. It does a lot of things uh, aesthetically. It does a lot of things environmentally that the others don't do. We didn't even talk about it because they don't have any of those advantages. We create habitat with this. We moderate heat island effect. We have a positive effect on runoff water, uh, retention, detention, the ability to capture and hold and treat water on the site as opposed to you know, forcing it to run off. All this is impacted by the smart slope module. It looks darn good, and we've accepted the fact that you're really not going to see these blocks. It's going to be grown over with plants. That's our intended product offering, is this to be grown over with plants to sell you a living wall. So when you're looking at different price points for different functionality, this is a good one here. Thank you very much, and I hope you get a chance to use SmartSlope and give us some feedback. Take care.